Welcome to this installment of my favorite Pokemon types. Uh, in this video, I'll be covering my favorite ground type Pokemon. Now, this is all based off my opinion. It is just the Pokemon that I happen to like. It has nothing to do with stats, it has nothing to do with abilities, it has nothing to do with top tier competitive scene. It's just which Pokemon I like. So, first on the list, first in my heart, Sandshrew and Sandslash. Um, back in the red and blue days, when Pokemon was at the peak of its, well, at the beginning of its popularity and it was growing, uh, Pikachu was everywhere as the company mascot, of course, and Pikachu still is the company mascot, but Pikachu, 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 well, I wanted the anti-Pikachu because I didn't care for it. Pikachu wasn't all that special to me, but I wanted an anti-Pikachu. I wanted something that was going to defeat Pikachu and be just as good looking and just as cool, so, of course, the other yellow mouse is Sandshrew. Now, I was a total noob, I did teach my Sandshrew how to do Fissure, and I would just be disappointed all the time what it would miss. But with moves like Dig and Earthquake along with Slash, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Sandshrew didn't have a particularly deep move pool. I decided that Poison Sting would be cool to teach it to because you get that chance of poison. But as time went on, I also it gained access to the very cool Metal Claw. It gains access to Poison Jab. Um, with those moves in mind, and even though Dig lost power but then regained power, Dig always stayed as like a staple move. And then I liked Rollout as a move on it too because it would also, like, if you played Pokemon Stadium, Sandshrew would, like, can curl up into a ball to do some of its attacks, and they show, like, Sandshrew curling up into a ball very often, but not many attacks for it actually require it to curl up into a ball. Well, Sandshrew can do rollout, and that, of course, makes it curl into a ball, and it actually makes sense. Gyrosphere 2, Gyro Ball, Gyro Ball 2. These are all, like, great rolling up moves. Um, <clears throat> I did like the evolution into Sand Slash. I like that it had, like, the quills and those long claws. Like, it just made this idea of using slashing moves, like, even more, I, I don't know, potent. But yeah, these are the two Pokemon that I always look back to and think on when I think of, you know, a ground-type Pokemon that I prefer. And just remembering the anti-Pikachu days, just wanting to be different from everyone else. At the beginning of the second Pokemon, uh, the first Pokemon movie, uh, Ash has a battle with a trainer that uses a mysterious Pokemon, an uh, elephant Pokemon, yes. That would be the armored Pokemon, Donphan. Donphan is very powerful, and Ash actually does catch a, no, he gets a Fampy from an egg, and then it evolves into a Donphan later on. Donphan proved to be one of his more powerful Pokemon, so of course he doesn't use it very often because stupidity. My Donphan, uh, one good like memory I have of it was battling a friend online, and I used Ice Shard. Ice Shard against his Garchomp was super effective, and he immediately texted me, how did you do that? I was like, well, it's, a, it's an egg move, you can look it up. Because I liked, you know, the fact that I could have that priority move on an otherwise slow Pokemon, and Ice Shard's a really great move to have, especially because it's so unpredicted from this ground type. Also, with moves like Earthquake, Thunder Fang, and uh, Gyro Ball, yeah, I have a pretty good Don fan, I feel. But that's just my opinion, and of course, the opinion of my Pokemon is going to be better than everyone else's. Um, I didn't really think too much of this next one until I actually went about using it, and that's Gliscor. Uh, I had high hopes for Gligar, but Gligar disappointed me. But Gliscor is pretty fun to use. Um, taking advantage of like Poison Jab, and it has access to all the elemental fangs, Night Slash, like, and it's fast. At least I found, I found mine to be pretty fast too. And it just seems like it's so hard. Like it, my, maybe mine had a defensive nature. I don't know. Uh, when I raised mine, I didn't really pay attention to anything. I just kind of raised it. <clears throat> like, however, and it just seemed like my glide score could take a lot of hits, and I wasn't really expecting that after the disappointment that was Glyce Gligar. Well, glide score, on the other hand, wow. And <clears throat> like I said, I wasn't really expecting this Pokemon to be like all that good. But upon using it and like going back to it every now and again just to play with it, 
I was always impressed and it just seemed like it was such a tough battler that I really, you know, and anyone I've talked to about this Pokemon, they all say like, wow, yeah, that is a great Pokemon. So Glasscore makes the list just for that reason alone. Now, the next Pokemon on this list, I have a love of drills. I really do. And this Pokemon, Exadrill, just turns its whole body into a drill to do its once upon a time signature move of Drill Liner, America Drill Run, but Drill Liner sounds good too. Drill Run, I, I think I picked it up only for that reason, and the fact that it was a ground steel type made it all the better, because if you're going to use a ground type, you're probably using it against a poison type, and now you can't be poisoned. That's awesome. With like Metal Claw, Drill Liner, Earthquake, um, you know what? Those were probably the only moves I ever used it. With Metal Claw, I gained that boost in attack every so often. And if I taught it any other moves, I can't remember. But when I played Pokemon White, it was so hard because finding a Drillmer, like if you wanted to find it, you had to wait for a Dust Cloud to appear in a cave and hope that it's a cave where it lives. So I didn't get that. So I was in a cave searching for it for the longest time. In fact, I even went back because I started getting towards the end of the game. And I was like, no, I want this Pokemon on my team. Like, I had already decided this is the Pokemon that I want. So I went back and searched for it. Searched, searched, searched. Finally, in a dust cloud, I got one. I got one, I grinded, I went and did as much as I could and raised it up just so it would come up to equal level with the rest of my team. And I was like, yeah! So I finally got it. And I was not disappointed, like, it is an awesome Pokemon. It's one of the few Gen 5 Pokemon that I think I look back on and actually say, yeah, that's one of my Pokemon. Um, except for the next one. The next one, I kind of stumbled upon just because, like, I wanted to think of it as the frogs in Naruto that were using, like, their voices to make sound attacks. Yeah, Seismitoad. I actually thought about using Seismitoad on a team with a Politoad and a Krogunk so that it could be like an all-toad team. Or maybe another frog Pokemon that I'm not remembering right now, but I'll have them use like Echoed Voice. So I thought Echoed Voice between like the three Pokemon would keep gaining power. Like I thought if one used it and the next one used it, it would keep getting stronger, but I don't think that's how the mechanic works. Or even with Hyper Voice. Yeah, because Timpole like uses a lot of sound based attacks but that's not why I looked at Seismitoad for. Seismitoad has Poison Touch. With Poison Touch, if it makes contact or the opponent makes contact with it, there's a chance that it might poison it. I thought that was really cool. It's kind of like Poison... Poison Bar, which some Pokemon have? Or is it Poison Needle? Meh. Poison Point. Yeah, that, that ability, only it's like better because it goes two ways. So it's just like this water or ground type is just dripping with poison, like its skin, like it, there's a chance that it can poison the opponent. And with a move like later on, power up punch, where you're boosting your attack, and then you still have access to like the earthquake and like maybe even the surf, and like moves like that at your disposal, it's like, yeah, you can deal some heavy damage and maybe even poison your opponent, or if they touch you, they get poisoned. Like, it, it's just like this bulky Pokemon that can take some hits and potentially have a hidden trap on its body, too. A trap that they might not be expecting from it. And then, so, for our most recent generation, I needed a ground type in my party because I found my party just wasn't, like, balanced enough. I didn't have... I thought I had too many of the same type. If you've seen my Pokemon Sun playthrough, you know that I had to go back and try out some other Pokemon, and Mudsdale is awesome. With Stamina, every time it takes a hit, its defense goes up. Granted, it's only its defense, so even if it gets hit by a special attack, the special defense doesn't increase. But still, with like Stamina and then, you know, any physical move that hits it is going to do less damage each time. and. It's just such a bulky Pokemon for that reason. And then with powerful moves like Heavy Slam, because Mudsdale is a heavier Pokemon, and even Stampede, I think it is? Yeah, 
Stampede and like high horsepower, it gains access to some really strong moves. And like, I was really pleased with it. And even it's used for a Poke ride. So you can, even though it's not your Mudsdale, you can still be seen riding around on a Mudsdale. Like, it is one of my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. And I enjoyed having it on my journey with me while becoming the champion of the Alola region. And finally, on this list, I, it's a little bit of a cop-out, but I don't care. Groudon. Groudon is a legendary Pokemon found only in Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Omega Ruby, as well as Heart Gold, I believe? Yeah, so Groudon has this unique ability called Drought. Drought originally would just make it a permanent sunny day effect in the battle until the battle was over. It's since then been nerfed so that it only lasts for 5 turns. But Drought is awesome for a ground type Pokemon because it reduces the water, like the attack damage from water. Also, with Drought, you get a boost to your fire type moves, which Groudon does learn a few, but also Solar Beam, which is very effective against, you know, types like that Groudon would be used against like rock types, but you would have a ground type move. Um, but still, like it powers itself up. And moreover, so if you played Pokemon Colosseum or even Gale of Darkness and had Groudon in your game, Groudon jumps into the air and just stomps both its feet down to create its earthquakes. That is freaking awesome. Like, it is the heaviest Pokemon in the Pokedex, and it is creating earthquakes by jumping up and down. Like, that is pretty much just destroying the planet. But you can't help but not like this Pokemon. Like, it looks like it's got, like, levels of armor to it. It's got, like, serration. Like, it look, like its head looks sharp. It's got claws at the end of its tail. It's got, cl well, obviously it's got claws at the end of its legs. Like, And then it's got serrated teeth. And then there's Primal Groudon, in which it seems like fire is like seeping out of it. Of course, it is a fire ground type. But <clears throat> Primal Groudon, like, are you kidding? Primal Groudon is awesome. Because not only, because now with its Primordial Sun, water attacks can't be used at all. The one thing that would hurt it the most cannot be used. So, <laughs> it cannot be used. And it just makes it so much easier for... Like, it assures its own victory by the thing that would do four times damage to it is just negated. That is amazing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this list. Tell me about your favorite ground type Pokemon in the comment section below. There will be no Patreon portion of this list because I thought it was a little too short and didn't want to split it in half. Um, make sure to check out my Pokemon Sun Let's Play and make sure to hit those links below in the comments in the description box to so follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.